and Ukraine has been getting support from all around the world and also from right here in Houston tonight. A strong and symbolic gesture from members of the Consular Corps. ABC 13's Maya Shea is live at the French Council General's residence to show us what happened and what Ukraine wants from Texas leaders. <laughs> Hey there, yeah, there was a lot of emotion and really just a lot of positive feelings among the consular corps right here in Houston. We have the second largest consular corps in the United States, and tonight's show of support was led by the French Consul General. And we are here to express our full support and solidarity to the Ukrainian authorities and the Ukrainian people. In a show of solidarity, the French and Ukrainian flags were raised together around 5 o'clock this afternoon. They were supported by members of the Consular Corps and flags from throughout Europe. In fact, just about every member of the European Union was represented. The Ukrainian Consul General says now is the time that Texas leaders really step up. He's urging Governor Greg Abbott to shut down ports to Russian ships and divest from Russian oil and gas operations. Texans and Texas businesses can do more. We would like also uh, the Texas authorities do the same as the New York governor did, announcing that it's no longer okay for the businesses in New York to do business with Russian entities. We want to do the same here in Texas too. I think it's time to show Putin that the world is united in supporting Ukraine. Yeah, the Consul General says besides shutting down ports to Russian ships, for example, he would love to see, for example, large law firms in the Houston area drop clients that may be from Russia and all those other actions that the state of Texas could still take. And we should note he's asking for all of these things while representing Ukraine and his own parents are in Kiev spending every night in a bomb shelter. We're live in River Oaks, Maya Shea, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.